There was high drama in the Super Bantamweight division in 2018 as Lori 56 all twice defending champion Anissa Mexen lose her title to J.D. Menezes in a controversial split decision win that left crowd and commentators stunned. Did we, did we watch a completely different fight? I don't think she won one single round. No, I a rematch was quickly convened, and at Glory 61 New York, Mexen vowed not to leave it to the judges. Anissa Mexen trying to get back what she feels was taken from her. And that's it. Mexen promised the KO, and she delivers in the second round. The featherweight division saw the dominance of ex-lightweight champ Ruben Van Roosmalen come to an end with a long-awaited rematch against Thailand's Petz Panamarong. Originally scheduled for Glory 55, Roosmalen was forced to pull out through injury. Instead, Petz took on New York native Kevin Van Ostrand in a close-fought battle for the interim belt. Since dropping to featherweight, Van Roosmalen has struggled with the weight cut, and so it proved at Glory 59 when a below-par Van Roosmalen faced the challenger in a unification fight for the title. With Van Roosmalen out of the frame, opportunity turns to another ex-champion, a resurgent Serhei Adamchuk to challenge the new champ in the first event of 2019 in Houston in February. The lightweight division saw the complete dominance of another tie, superstar Sidichai. With a nine fight win streak, six successful defenses, and a record four this year, his win against Josh Johnson at Glory 61 New York cemented Sinichai's legacy as the lightweight king. 2018 began with a new welterweight champion as Harut Gregorian avenged his controversial loss to Myrtle Brunhart at Glory 50 Chicago to claim the belt. He successfully defended against tricky newcomer Aleem Nabiev at Glory 54, but there's one man in particular breathing down the Armenian's neck, motormouth Frenchman Cedric Dumbe. The ex-champion had a stellar 2018 with three straight wins and two knockout finishes, and hopes are high for an instant classic when the two finally meet for the first time sometime next year. In the middleweight division, Simon Marcus and Yusri Belgari lined up to take pot shots at Brazilian champion Alex Pereira. Both were dispatched in similar fashion, Belgari suffering two consecutive knockdowns. And Marcus failing to convince the judges at Glory 58 Chicago. The light heavyweight division saw another year and another successful defense for reigning champion Artem Vahitov as he took a unanimous decision from Daniel Alunga at Glory 56 Denver. But the champion has been dogged by injury and the division is in need of a worthy challenger in 2019. Could it be experienced Kate Verde and Luis Tavares? Returning to Glory with a win in December after a five year hiatus, he claims unfinished business with the Russian. And finally to the heavyweights and the undisputed king of kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven. 2018 saw him defend twice convincingly against Milad and Brestovac, and most recently Brazilian Guto Innocent in front of a massive sellout crowd at Glory 59 Amsterdam. But with Jamal Ben City claiming the Glory Tournament Championship at Glory 62. And now Glory Heavyweight Tournament Champion. Could the only man to rock Rico in five years be poised to take the crown? Time will tell. Are you ready for glory? Friday, February 1st, 2019 blasts off with Glory 63 Houston. The featherweight title is on the line as ex-champion Serhei Adamchuk challenges newly crowned Petch Panorama. The best of the U.S. has unbeaten welterweight wonders Omari Boyd and Troy Jones face off. Plus, Asa Tinpal and Richard Abraham in action. Glory 63 Houston, Friday, February 1st. Check date and time in your area. Don't miss it.